thought you weren't coming. <laughs> yeah, it's um like like an hour ago. No, I said seven thirty. Yeah. <laughs> That's all good. I mean I'm just chilling anyway, so you good? Cool, cool. Um, someone's gonna tell you. I don't know, I forgot. But anyways, how was your day? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what's up. Nah, mine was was good. Um, you know today's one of my more relaxed days, so I just pretty much chill out. Yeah. Right. But I um the what was it? I know, I just spoke up. I just, yeah. um, oh, right, right, right. So the package that I was going to get for our vintage movie night, I couldn't because my friend is out of town. So I had to get a different one. But I still think it'll be something interesting. Now, you know how this goes. I have not seen these, so they could be great or they could be whack. <laughs> they might suck. I don't know. But um, we're just going to go through them and, you know, we'll pick one and, and check it out, you know. So, but um, are you still doing your blog, by the way? Mm. Yeah. Oh, word. Okay. Well, then, depending on if we enjoy any of these um, or the one that we're going to watch, you might want to place it on your blog and let people know. You know what I mean? Get them, get them hooked on some of these vintage quality movies. Although I don't, I don't, huh? Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know how vintage these will be. It could be like 1990, <laughs> which is not really vintage, because um, I don't think it goes back too far. To be honest, it could be 2000s, you know. But it's nothing that came out this year, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, I, I feel you. It's just, I think that DVDs, well, okay, a lot of people still watch DVDs. I, um, I more so stream stuff, you know, I either stream it or, of course, I'm just watching it on regular TV, which I don't watch too much, um, or I go to the movies, you know, but I don't, I don't even really, like, even the DVD player that I have for tonight, I had to borrow that because I don't even own a DVD player. I don't have a DVD player. No, exactly. I don't have one on my, my uh, laptop. Well, first of all, my laptop is in a shop. But I don't have a DVD player on that. And um, I don't have one on my iMac. You know, these new iMacs that came out a couple years ago or a few years ago, um, they don't have the DVD slot. So, yeah. For what? Oh, oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we've been taking on clients that don't need DVDs as much, you know, so we'll we'll place their video footage on like a thumb drive or send it to them digitally. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So that's why I really haven't needed one because I don't need it for my job. I don't really use it purse for personal life um, because I just watch everything. Like I said, I stream it or... I, um, you know, watch, just watch TV or something, so, so, yeah, <laughs> obsolete is right, all right, so here we go, I'm just gonna kind of go over, just kind of pick out the first one, hold on. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. All right, here is movie number one. The movie is called... Okay, so this is definitely not vintage vintage. <laughs> Justice League. Are you familiar with it? Oh, you haven't? Okay, that's, that's cool. Um, So I'll just read what's on here. DC... Com okay, we know what... Hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay, so this is the DC Comics Kids Selection. Justice League. And this particular one is unlimited. Um, the title is Saving the World. And let me see something. Okay, they 
got special features, um, three exciting adventures. And it says here, all your favorite superheroes join forces to fight for justice. Well, not all, because my favorite superhero is not in Justice League. Aurora, Storm, you know that. Yes, I love Storm. Aurora Monroe, she's my, like, most favorite superhero. But, uh, alright, so let me tell you what it's about. Um, wait, what is it? Okay. All have incredible powers. All have faced unthinkable dangers. All call themselves heroes. And now, they're united. Under the leadership of the original Justice League, which I actually prefer, but anyways, um, Earth's superheroes band together to form an unbeatable force that's always ready for action. These three exciting adventures from the hit TV show feature battles with the menacing nuclear robot, the ego maniacal, or it's ego maniacal, I don't know which way it is, ego or ego, I think it's ego maniacal, yeah, <laughs> ego or ego, you don't know either, alright, ego, <laughs> let's just say it's ego, the ego maniacal child musician, um, Mordred, and the dangerous god. Do you know what the, the god of war is? Are you familiar with your mythology? Greek myth, Or is that Greek? Yeah, Greek mythology. Or is it Roman? No, nah, Greek, Greek, Greek. Ares. Good. So you got, you know, a little bit. Um, Ares. Okay. So in Justice League Unlimited, there's always a hero around when you need one. Um, let's see. This particular... Production, I think I already said, has three exciting adventures, has special features. Yeah, so that's one option. So what do you think? Yay or nay? No, you're the guest. Well, you're not a guest, but it's your decision. Hey, we'll come back to it. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's see what we got. gonna be option number two and we have player 5150 hmm I'm not familiar with this do you know this movie okay all right so we have Ethan Embry are you familiar with him okay Kathleen Robertson Chris McDonald, Bob Sapp, Kelly Carlson, Carlson, not Clarkson. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if she's ever acted in anything before. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, and Bob Gunton. All right. So again, the title is Fifty One Fifty, and their motto here, or the little tagline, is Some lines should never be crossed. I agree with that. Okay, so here's what this one is about. Joey, who is played by Ethan Embry, who also starred in or had a role in Can't Hardly Wait, which I've never seen before, um, is a successful day trader at a high-end brokerage house. He has a beautiful fiance, who's played by Kathleen Robertson, and a home on the beach. He has it all and a lot to lose. Now the gambling addiction, uh oh. Now the gambling addiction, addiction has plagued him for years, has him on the run, and I'm gonna rewind because I don't think I read that right. Now the gambling addiction that has plagued him for years has him on the run and he must put everything on the line, including his life. Also featuring Kelly Carlson of TV's Nip Tuck. Nip Tuck. Now, I do remember Nip Tuck. Yeah, I used to love that show. Yes. 
That was a good show. Um, okay, so what do you think about that one? Oh, we can, yeah. We can decide at the end. All right, so do we'll do it this way. If there's anything that you're sure you just do not want to see, then I'll just put that aside. But we'll stack it up and decide at the end. All right, cool. All right. Closing my eyes and closing my eyes. Okay. You ready? The next choice is <laughs> the Muppets take Manhattan. Now, this one actually might be okay. This was this came out in two thousand one. Hold on, when did this player fifty one fifty come out? Two thousand eight. Okay. So two thousand one. So it was a little bit more vintage. Vintage. Um, I'm sure you've seen this. Right. Yeah, this is really popular. So Jim Henson, Home Entertainment, presents The Muppets Take Manhattan. It's like a lullaby to Broadway. That's what Time Magazine had to say. So, let's see. Um, this sticker's kind of covering it, but it says, Fresh Out of College, Kermit Fozzie. And the entire cast of Kermit's musical Manhattan Melodies head for the Big Apple with plans to turn their small play into a big hit. All they need now is someone to produce their show. But when no one in town will even meet with them, it's up to Kermit to believe hard enough for all of his friends that the show will go on. Come on, Zada. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, family entertainment has never been more fun than this comedy marking Frank Oz's solo directorial debut. Nice. So, I already know what pile that'll go in. <laughs> All right, only got two more left. Okay, so. okay look, not gonna look. And we have, hmm, Southland Tales. This is the way the world ends. When did this one come out? It came out in 2008, another 2008. This is rated R for language, violence. <laughs> you know, I cuss all the time. Um, sexual material. And some drug content. So, you know, you know this one. Okay, good for you, cause I do not. Um, Dwayne Johnson, formerly known as The Rock. Um, Sean William Scott, I uh, know William, I'm sorry, and Sarah Michelle Geller, who I have not heard from in a while. Yeah, yeah. Since she married to um, Freddie Prince Jr. or somebody like that, I think so. All right, so let's see what this one's about. Southland Tales is an ensemble piece set in the futuristic landscape of Los Angeles as it stands on the brink of social, economic, and environmental disaster. Boxer Santaros, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, is an action star who's stricken with amnesia. Mm, that sucks. His life intertwines with Krista, wait, with Krista now. Her last name is now? Or are they saying his life inter intertwines with Krista now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Okay. His life intertwines, shut up. His life intertwines with Krista now, Sarah Michelle Geller, an adult film star, okay, um, developing her own reality television project and Ronald Taverner who's played by Sean William Scott a Hermosa Beach police officer who holds the key to a vast conspiracy mm, now this one sounds interesting it also has special features and you know I love in terms of fiction and entertainment language violence sexual material 
mm, draw contents, whatever, but I don't know. This one might be, hmm. What you thinking? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Let's see, one more. Sorry. <laughs> it's the last one. Mm. Wild Dogs. And this one came out in... I don't see it. Let's see. Okay, well, the DVD release was in 2007, but the movie itself... I don't see when it came out. Do you happen to know? Do you know this movie? Not sure. Okay. I will see. I don't see it on here. Let me just check right quick on my phone. We can always go to Google and check out Wild Dogs. It sounds interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Wild Dogs, the movie, came out in... Hold on. Two thousand. Whoa, no, that's not the right one. Sorry. <laughs> um. Two. Wait. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't get it. Okay, first of all, there's a lot of movies apparently called Wild Dogs. Um. Let me just put in one of these actors, and I'm about to tell you who the actors are. I just don't want to say it because. Uh, I want to see if you know. Okay, 2007, so DVD came out at the same time as the movie. Now, the actors in this one, Tim Allen, John Travolta, Martin Lawrence, who is my boy. I love Martin Lawrence. Like, Martin, the sitcom, is like one of my all-time favorite sitcoms. <laughs> I can't even say it without laughing. Oh my gosh, that shit is so funny. He was... He was a genius. Um, that show was just iconic to me. Um, and then William H. Macy. Okay, so... And it's a comedy. The comedy event of the year is what they said from NBC TV slash Houston. And this is what it's about. Tim Allen, John Travolta, Martin Lawrence, and William H. Macy star in Wild Dogs. The hysterically funny comedy about four weekend warrior friends who decide to rev up their ho-hum suburban lives with a cross-country motorcycle adventure. They don their leathers okay, yeah. They don their leathers, fire up their hogs, and throw caution and their cell phones to the wind as they hit the open highway. But a lot can happen on the road to no A real biker gang that don't take too kindly to wannabes. Filled with hilarious misadventures, screwball situations, and madcap mayhem, this laugh out loud comedy is a movie your whole family will go hog wild over. <laughs> hog wild over. We need to turn the lights up in here because I can barely see. I know we're about to watch a movie. But anyways, um, so <laughs> you know I'm so random, but um, what you think? Okay, boom. We can just do this one then. We don't even have to, um, yeah. Matter of fact, let me just put this back. This can be the one. And you know what I love about this? Um, I'm first of all, I'm so mad seen this um i think this is great to have these these actors together in this cluster which normally um i wouldn't see them crossing paths in entertainment you know what i mean because they had like their own lane you know so i think this one might be it was, yeah like you said it's gonna be funny shit <laughs> I mean, at least I know one thing. Martin is hilarious, so at least I know I like whatever he does. And um, I like John Travolta. I've never really seen him in a comedy, I don't think. Have you? 
Okay. Um, Tim Allen, you know, remember his show, and so that was pretty comedic. And William Macy, yeah, so this one, that's going to be interesting. So let's see. No. Oh my fucking goodness. It is empty. I'm about to tear this house apart. get him. Oh, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. He told me, okay, in his defense, he did have a flood um, like a week or two ago, and I know he lost some movies and stuff, but he didn't tell me, wait, what did he say? yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, he told me that these movies that were in a bag were all good, and there is no movie in here. Oh my gosh, and I was I was set on watching this. Right, you too, right. It's like it's like when you have your your taste buds fixed for a certain meal and you can't have it. Oh my gosh, I'm like get matter of fact, hold on. Oh no, he's in he's in a um he's in a uh, rehearsal right now. I'ma whoop his ass cause damn it, I was ready for this. Alright. What was your choice number two? Okay. okay, yeah. Softening Tales, okay. And I can give it that because actually I was going to pick this one um, if it wasn't this one, so hold on. Hold up. Okay, the Muppets is there. And this is not even the right DVD. Okay, you know what? What we're going to do, we're going to postpone this, okay? And I'm going to go to his place after his rehearsal. I'm going to whoop that ass. I'm going to get the DVDs. And I'm going to see you two nights from now i'll see you on actually no let's just do it next week because i'm actually busy the rest of this week i'm gonna see you next week and we're going to watch that movie <laughs> maybe he's messing up our whole uh whole arrangement and stuff i guess you're gonna have to hold off on our blog now so or you can tell him that you know a preview of what's to come yeah yeah i cannot believe that that is crazy and there's this other um dvd case here Oh, wait. Player 5150 is right here, so maybe it's in here. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, shit, my bad. Maybe there won't be no ass whooping tonight. Hold on. Okay, and Justice League is there. Okay, let's see. Please be in here. Let's see, where is it? Come on, come on, come on. You got your fingers crossed. <laughs> Smoking Aces, that was a good movie, too. Mm -mm -mm. Memoirs of a Geisha. Oh, yeah, that was good, too. Oh, come on, please be in here. No, that's not it. I don't see it. Now, I will say this. There are some other good movies in here. But I don't see the, um... Okay, hold on. Man, I don't see it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's another compartment. Hold on. see it in here um i might have overlooked it but yeah oh wait alvin and the chipmunks oh i love that matter of fact fuck it we're gonna watch alvin and the chipmunks i think i hope this is the movie yes it is 
Boom. That's what we're going to do. You ready? Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> All right. I'll put it in.